it's a negative, you know, there's often we'll get that negative connotation about AI or it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's taking over product development, that sort of thing. Hey, Yoris, you know, uh, when I'm, I'm online, I see a lot of information these days about artificial intelligence and uh, GPT, pre-trained transformers and things, uh, you know, and how they're influencing medical device design. And hey, I'm sitting across from a medical device developer. How, mm -hmm. how do you actually use AI day to day? That's a good question, Nick. Yeah, absolutely. We're using it more and more these days. And uh, so one of the ways I use AI is by sifting through an enormous amount of information mm. in a very effective way. Yeah. Uh, often in, there's a lot of information available, more and more information available, and you have to contrast that information. It can take a lot of time to find the right information and read all of it and just mm -hmm. like, compare it to each other and kind of summarize it. Right. The AI is really helpful with that. So typical examples include like understanding a competitive, doing a competitive analysis, understanding where consumers are for a particular product, uh, understanding what the user profile of a product, all that uh, AI can help with. Right. Um, another thing I use AI for is when you have, for example, an instruction manual, you have to communicate a piece of information. Generally, I still write that piece of information, but I can then feed it into the AI algorithm, and the AI algorithm then helps me uh, write a more compelling piece of information or yes. uh, improve the readability of that. Right. How, uh, how have you used uh, AI, Nick? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great question. And so in, in my role at Starfish, I'm, uh, we call a, a project manager, and often I'm dealing with, um, you know, stakeholders or clients that are, you know, really serious experts in whatever technology mm -hmm. we're, we're developing. And they'll often send me, you know, the current da data in terms of peer-reviewed publications and lots of other uh, publications kind of orthogonal to what we're doing the work on and asking to sift through that. And that's, I, that's where I look at AI as a, as a partner to help sift through some of these articles that come in and kind of pick out the highlights and help screen through those things. Mm -hmm. Much more efficient use of, of everyone's time. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I that I will use AI for is sort of like sort of like what you had mentioned too. Um, I will use AI to kind of sift through uh, the peer-reviewed literature that that hasn't been sent to me already. Yeah. Sort of like what we would use, um, you know, Google or PubMed for, but as a as a uh, as an accelerator, if you will. Yeah. Or AI kind of looks at the fringes, things that we wouldn't normally search for, yeah. and I find it very helpful for that. Uh, and then finally, where we're actually doing the work, we're generating lots and lots of data. Uh, I look at AI as a partner, where it's able to mm -hmm. look at all of this data in a way that you know can do it many, many orders of magnitude better than the old Mark One brain can <laughs> here, and, uh, and and helps look for patterns and things that we wouldn't normally recognize. Uh, and it's just been a, a great partner. Well, that's excellent. Yeah. So overall, a great time saver for all of us. Overall, I, I look at it as a, as a real great time saver. I wouldn't say uh, it's, it's um, it's a it's a negative. You know, there's often we'll get that negative connotation about AI or it's mm -hmm. it's it's taking over product development that sort of thing. I look at it at this stage anyway yeah. <laughs> as a, as a real as a real good partner, a way to uh, accelerate time and and uh, and, and kind of uh, think of things that we may not think of uh, organically. It's been an extra. It's an interesting interesting time to live in for sure. Great. Thank you so much, Nick. Well, that's the end of Biobreak. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Have a great day.